Okay, um, so that's that's I think the best way to, to understand it, and and I got you could you could understand the the, um, the partial free will that part of our free will that part of our decisions are, are you know up to us and part are like up to other factors. You can understand that also how that's impossible by um, by basically understanding that like all right think about it. I mean it doesn't make sense but like. If part of, us, of our decisions were up to us and another part was up to something else, well, the part of the decisions that were up to us would have a cause, okay? They, they couldn't ex ex escape that law of causality that governs everything. So, the, you know, if we were to claim that part of the decision was up to us, well, what was the reason for that decision? You know, why do we make that decision? What's the cause of that? And then you have to ask yourself, well, what's the cause of that? And a lot of times, all right, when we, um, when we explore this, it's not that we, um, that we can know, that we can ever know what the causes are. Especially, I mean, if you go back three, four steps in this chain of cause and effect, I mean, like, we're just guessing as to what the causes are. But you know, we start with this premise. We start with this premise that everything must have a cause, that things just can't happen uncaused, okay? Um, 